Now to another murder case, another disturbing case overall, this one in Massachusetts, where Brian Walsh has pleaded not guilty to murdering his wife, Anna. This was in court yesterday. She was last seen early on January 1st, New Year's Day. Afterwards, though, prosecutors say that Walsh searched online repeatedly, in fact, for tips on how to dispose of a body, also clean up blood. Nancy Chen reports from outside the courthouse in Quincy, Massachusetts. You understand the charges, Mr. Walsh? I do. In court, Brian Walsh stood motionless as prosecutors alleged he killed his wife and disposed of the 39 year old's body after she disappeared on New Year's Day. Rather than divorce, it is believed that Brian Walsh dismembered on Walsh and discarded her body. Police say Walsh told investigators he last saw the mother of three early January 1st as she was about to take a car to the airport. But prosecutors say there is no record of that ride. Anna was reported missing by her employer three days later. On Wednesday, prosecutors said Walsh searched a series of disturbing questions on his son's iPad starting just hours after Anna was last seen by a friend. At 4.58 a.m., how to stop a body from decomposing. At 5.20 a.m., he searched how to embalm a body. The next day, prosecutors say Walsh bought $450 worth of supplies, including cleaning materials. They say investigators also discovered blood and knives in the couple's basement and found video of a man resembling Walsh lugging a heavy bag and discarding items in several dumpsters. Prosecutors say some bags have already been incinerated, but police found other bags containing a hatchet, hacksaw, towels, Anna's COVID-19 vaccine card, and items she was last seen wearing. What's being alleged is horrifying. Pamela Barty was a friend of Anna's. The truth needs to be told because I think that not knowing is much more painful. Anna Walsh's body has not been found. Brian Walsh pleaded not guilty and is being held without bail. In a statement, his attorney doubted the strength of the case, adding she, quote, intends to win. His next court appearance is February 9th. Gail. Yeah, Nancy, keep thinking about Anna's very young children, her family and friends. Thank you so much.